Welcome to Munson Made This. Today we have a very special holiday themed episode for you. We are going to be making gingerbread houses, vegan, no bake. No, 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 they're not gingerbread houses. <laughs> vegan, no bake gingerbread houses. You keep saying no bake, like you, I, you don't, yes, you bake gingerbread, but you don't bake a gingerbread house. Correct. So they're just gingerbread houses no made out no, of graham crackers. No bake gingerbread houses. Sure. So no break, no bake gingerbread means uh, grams. And if you watched the last video where we made uh, magic seven layer bars using these Nabisco grams, you'll know that these are the ones that are vegan in the red box. And I got these uh, as well as this spread of uh, accidentally vegan candy. I got all of this and some Oreos uh, at Target. Um, total, I spent $30 on all of this stuff. Um, the only thing I didn't get at Target was this Duncan Hines frosting because... Now where did that come from? Uh, actually it came from Albertsons because Duncan Hines Homestyle, look for the Homestyle frosting, uh, that is accidentally vegan. And yes, there's a lot of plastic and probably a lot of candy waste. Not many people, I, I don't know, I'll probably eat mine. Oh but. yeah, speaking of plastic. <laughs> Like, so this is shocking yeah. what this looks like. If this seems like it's a waste of food, don't think of this as food. It's just candy and sugar and oils and chemicals. Oh my. So um, yeah, we're bundled up for the holiday season. Christmas is just around the corner. Odie's trying to get up here because he thinks something is happening. Hi buddy. Um, so our, our plan here today is to make these no-bake gingerbread houses uh, using grams and all this candy. And uh, oh, I've also made some royal icing with just basically powdered sugar and water. And uh, the goal here is to set a timer for 30 minutes and to make the best gingerbread house that we can in that time. And then have you all vote on which one is the best. Who is the winner? Who has the best vegan no-bake gingerbread house? Why do you keep calling it? Because no I love it. I, I don't, no-bake isn't. It's gonna be in the thumbnail. It doesn't so. work. Um, all right, so. Uh, we have Swedish Fish, Skittles, Oreos. Why did you pick Swedish Airheads. Fish? Like, what are the Swedish Fish supposed to represent on the, the Swedish Red House? Fish represent House. your ability to be creative with the products that I have provided, so that it's up to you to decide how they can be used. So a frozen also, toy bond or something. Uh, because we couldn't get like gumdrops or anything like that, we uh, work with what we can. So you know, I've got a pair of scissors here. You can cut the Swedish Fish into different shapes. Uh, there's also Twizzlers, Smarties. Oh, I didn't even see that. Some uh, cinnamon hard candy, Lemonheads. Did you already start the time? No. Oh. Sour Patch Kids over here. Some uh, Wilton Sparkle Gel Red, which I did look up this is vegan. Hopefully you can hear me over the sound of him ripping through that. All right, well, let's get into this because uh, we don't want this video to be like two hours long. Yeah. So. We want it to be 35 minutes long. Yeah. About. So, um... Mm. Okay, so we have 30 minutes. We each have a box of grams and, uh, oh, I've also used a, uh, yeah, from Amazon. Days. It's basically a piece of cardboard from uh, Amazon delivery of V-Dog dog food. Shout out to V-Dog dog food, vegan dog Shout food. Shout out V-Dog! No, not sponsored, but if you want to send our dog some free food, if you watch this or know anybody that does. Uh, and we've just covered this in some foil. All right, so I'm ready to set the timer. I also have my coffee here because in case I get a little tired during the process. All right, 30 yeah. minutes. Um, are you gonna be able to finish that in time? Oh, I'm good. House? I'm gonna be fun. Okay. All right, so let's start the timer for 30 minutes. Now. And you have no idea what you're going to make? I mean, it's gotta resemble something like a house. Right? Yeah, and they're all different types of houses and homes. Yeah, some look like crap, I was some thinking, will look amazing, mine will look amazing, yours will look like it's falling apart. Spoiler here, I, I was thinking because you're really into the concept of like a home built out of containers, like uh, container homes, for, um, and these are, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna go that route, I think I'm gonna probably go more traditional. It'll be interesting uh, getting these into other shapes. Oh, there's a serrated knife up there, um, you can, saw it and apparently it does saw it pretty. saws without breaking yeah hmm ben was criticizing my royal icing saying that it was a little bit thin so i made him a thicker batch um, yeah hopefully. hopefully i can actually use it i need those scissors please 
Yeah, that is not gonna hold anything. Good luck with that. Might have to use some support here. So, did you ever make gingerbread houses as a kid, Ben? Is this something that you're familiar with? I don't think so. Unless I'm not remembering a time where it actually happened, I think the most recent memory I have of actually making a gingerbread house was like a couple of years ago. Like, didn't, didn't you and I get a kit one year and mess around with trying to make something? Did we? I feel like that happened. I definitely bought a kit like within the last like three years or so. It sounds like something we would do. So I'm really trying here to um, use construct a box. I'm, I don't know if you can see it here, but I'm, I'm using the, the box as support here and also flooding the royal ice down the cracks here. Um, I, I don't remember actually making a lot of gingerbreads. I think I do remember like a kit, but Doing it like this with graham crackers is kind of a memory that I have more than... Oh, really? Like you guys actually, like doing it with graham crackers was normal? <laughs> I guess maybe there's like an Elko thing. Yeah. It just seems like it was like an easy thing I mean, thing like who for... wants to actually like make all that gingerbread? I don't. Does anyone that actually uh, does gingerbread houses on a regular, do you make your gingerbread or you just do the kit thing? I'd like to actually know. Comment down below what you do. I'm sure there's a lot of people that make their own, but I don't know. It, I don't know. It, I've always seen it as kind of like a throwaway that yeah. no one actually like Does eats anyone... the gingerbread. Well, so. no, no one eats it because it just becomes a bunch of hard, stale stuff that just isn't right. Do you? Yeah. Got... Does anyone comment down below if you eat your gingerbread? <laughs> <house>? <laughs> or yeah, by the time it's been displayed or whatever, it's just unedible. But yeah, no one wants to go near that thing. Um, so how's your frosting working out over there? Your totally lukewarm, liquidy frosting that you said was going to be totally adequate. How's it holding things up? I see you're using a box just to make your wall stand. Is yours holding Look up? Look at how myself. mine is standing Well, see, you're doing something own. different than I am. Like, oh, I'm, yeah? I'm trying to make something modular. So mine is, I'm, I'm, I'm constructing, but then it's going to go into, it's not necessarily going to be in the place that it is right now. Yeah. Which maybe I should have planned a little bit differently. Wait, you're moving? You're literally like uprooting your house and then moving it? That's yeah. a bad idea. <laughs> so you think you're winning already? I think I'm already winning. Mine is already standing on its own. Okay. Mine. Uh, did we even say anything in the beginning about this being like a quasi kind of competition between who Yeah, I said better? vote below who do you think is the best. Vote below. Isn't that a thing? Vote below. I think you can also do like a uh, poll. Maybe I'll try to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna probably need more of this frosting though. Okay. If you run out, just use the Duncan Hines. Mm. I can't squirt the Duncan Hines like I can this though. Put it on the pizza or put it in the bag. Yeah, whatever you just said. <laughs> So five minutes oh, is elapsed. Oh no, I already screwed something up. Good. So, um, I wanted to do this real quick. Just a quick, quick little amendment there. Move this over. Um, so, Ben was wondering if this was gonna be boring if we just were here building our houses. And I said, well, no, it'll be like a mukbang or something where we're building and this we're talking. This is just like a mukbang. So, I feel like uh, we're a little bit invested into our work here, but. Oh yeah, we need to, we need um, to probably actually like entertain and maybe talk yeah. a little bit. So, so this isn't the most boring video ever made. Um, for Christmas, we're gonna be traveling to Missouri. Yep, we're flying to, uh, to Missouri to uh, go to a place called Silver Dollar City, if anyone out there has heard of it. Which has been his favorite place on the planet. Eh, it's, it really it's, is. It's up there for sure. It's a magical place, especially this time of year. Like they literally cover every surface, every tree with lights. It, it's absolutely incredible. It's basically an amusement park built into the mountains outside of Branson, 
Missouri. Built into the mountains is, yeah, accurate. It very much is like in sort of like a pit, like kind of like the slope of a mountain and kind of in, in this pit and it's all surrounded by trees and you sort of feel like you're in like an old, I don't know, Western kind of town. Yeah. Which is what it's going for, right? Yeah. Oh, and they have a blacksmith shop. They have a glass blowing facility. Candy making. They have a like a year round Christmas it's shop. Bas it's basically the North Pole at Christmas time. Which I've never actually been to it at Christmas. So I'm excited to see what it's actually like at Christmas time. Oh no, why did I do that? I don't know, why did you do that? Why did you make yours Stupid. terrible? I, I'm making mine too big. Like I already, I, know. I already regret what I've done. You should, because it's uh, yeah, it's huge. Like yeah, I don't know why you're doing that. Because then what, it's going to be like a single story. My like, family doesn't need a home this large. Out. I should have done the first one like this, but I didn't. So, um, and then we're traveling to Texas. After that, yes, going to Texas to see my brother and his family. And his family, they uh, just built a house. Is uh, it at Dallas? Outside uh, of it's Dallas? Denton. Denton, Texas. And then after the holidays, my mom's gonna come visit here. Oh no. I kind of like the snow drips that I just created. Where did this like tradition of doing this even come from? Gingerbread houses? I'm sure it's like some like old German some tradition or something. Housewife. It's probably called like ginger house in it. I don't think that's even remotely close to where this started. I don't even know. Ginger Halson. Ginger house. <laughs> yeah, that's super <laughs> accurate. Oh wow, congratulations on whatever that is. So, spoiler alert, I'm building a trailer park. Okay, so the stacks from Ready Player One. <laughs> it's so cool. sloppy. Yeah, well, yours isn't even gonna be finished because you have 20 minutes left and you have to embellish. Wait, we only have 20 minutes? Yeah. Holy crap. Anyway, All right. focus. So, I think these are my two trailers. I did want to do like a little pond. This time limit. This thing can also have to go. It's like the whole premise. I know. 20 minutes to make something as beautiful as what I'm making though is like. Yeah. Your eyes are bigger than your stomach. It's or... not a, that's not good. I think mine's gonna be maybe more like impressionistic. Maybe, baby. Is that an Easter egg for Adam? Maybe, baby. <laughs> um. Adam doesn't watch these videos. <laughs> Let's be real. So there's my pond. I think I want like a... Odie, you gotta get down, buddy. Oh man, I don't even know where to go from here because I don't want to add another level. And I don't want to just put like a flat roof on it. That's that's a cop-out. I think a trailer park is a cop-out, but... Yeah, it is a cop-out. We all knew yours was gonna suck, but mine... But mine's gonna be like a whole trailer park. Like, it's not just a trailer. It's gonna be... Apart. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't spend too much time thinking about this either. Something's got to get done. I don't know if I. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. What the red yeah, vine? It's not really a red vine. Maybe this will be the pool, the trailer park pool. I'm gonna put the fence around it so the kids can't get in there and injure themselves. Man, I feel like having 20 minutes, this thing is gonna end up looking like crap. You think it would look good if you had more time? Oh yeah, cause I could actually like do things, like now I feel like I need to rush through the structure so I can actually like put some decorations well, on I this thing. I feel like, yeah, needing more time is just an excuse. 
Oh, okay. How much time do we have? 18 minutes. No. I think this is when the fun starts. But how does this even, like, how does the math on this work out? Like, come on. How is it that off? You gotta use your crappy frosting. Can I get the scissors for a second? I mean, it's not crappy at all. Yeah, is it? Look at how, like, watery that is. It's like snow drifty. Yeah, that's always the excuse, I think. With gingerbread houses, it can be, it can be snow drifty. Uh, it just is running down the side so much. Um, and then do we have any New Year's plans? Uh, no. It's We're, harder to talk than you think. That. <laughs> yeah, to actually like try to keep a conversation I'm going. Trying I'm to like, win. Yeah, I'm focusing on making this thing not look like Michael's. Uh, this isn't working. This sucks. Your frosting's terrible. Um, <laughs> uh, what should be a roof? Smarty roof. Did you, are any of these candies like your favorite candies by any means? Uh, I'm a huge fan of Sour Patch Kids, you know this. Sour Patch Kids are, uh, are always good. I remember when they were hard to find. Remember when like you could literally only get Sour Patch Kids at the movie theater? No. Yeah, that was definitely a thing. Hmm. I remember my mom, like her favorite candy was Smarties and I never understood that. Yeah, whose favorite candy? Yeah, that's just like love Smarties. I don't get that. How do you love Smarties? They're just boring. I mean, I guess they're, are they kind of tart? Or that's yeah. sweet tarts? No, they're kind of tart. I guess I'm, I have in my hand, I could taste one. You know what? They're good. Yeah, they're not bad. That was a really smart choice of her. I'm loving my smarty roof. I mean, it's holding. It's holding. <laughs> so the Vegas style ranch house. All right, 15 minutes time. It's going so fast. It's going way too fast. Hopefully it's going as fast for you all that you're not. I'm so sorry that like I can't even talk and have an actual conversation while I'm trying to do this. Like I'm taking this way too seriously. Which is good. That's why I is it good? You. That's why I invited you. I wouldn't want anybody that didn't take it seriously. Oh, is this even gonna spread enough or am I gonna ruin my whole roof by doing this? This time's gonna be up and like just cut to both of these freaking monstrosities. <laughs> like <laughs> neither one of them are gonna look good. I mean mine looks amazing. Okay. Oh fudge. You're literally just throwing crap on it at this point, and the dogs are eating all that candy that Hopefully you're dropping. They like cinnamon. I don't want these red things around. <laughs> what do you mean you don't want the red things around? They're like on the they're in my snow. Damn. I'm gonna end up using this whole thing of frosting for this roof. I mean, don't be selfish. We have some more of the royal icing though, right? We can squeeze out of bags. Uh, okay. I need like a finger bowl.
so the reason I initially thought of doing trailers because I was like, oh, Oreos, those will be the like trailer wheels. Yeah. That's my whole. Wow, such a great imagination. Thank you. What a creative thing. It's like a sports car trailer. Maybe they're more like, you know, like covered wagony type things that you know you'd have like Ooh, circus side. Wagon. They're like circus sideshow wagons. I love how yours keeps changing as you realize how bad it looks. Actually, it looks kind of amazing. Yours is really boring. <laughs> yours does look cooler than mine at this point. So they're race cars racing towards. Snow day. Does that even happen anymore with global, global warming? Snow days? Yeah. Uh, yeah, go back to the Midwest. I think they have snow days all the time. All right, where are the Oreos at? Right there, dude. Oh no, I didn't leave room for a door. Oh my God, am I, gonna, I can't, I don't have time to eat all the frosting. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna put the door. How much time do I have? 12 minutes. 12 minutes. This is ruining it. Damn time limit. Too terrible. Doors. Do some windows. Okay, I can't good. wait for the glamour shots to show how truly beautiful this is decorated. Oh, it'll show that all right. This is what $30 will get you. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's fine. There's gonna be lots of leftovers. You, I feel like you were like intentionally like damaging these Oreos. Okay. Like the bag is like there's a lot of pieces left and not whole Oreos. By the way, if you haven't had the like mini tropical Swedish fish yet, they're delicious. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like I need more like gram. Are you gonna use any more grams? Uh, as, as of right now, no. I'm just gonna concentrate on getting my house somewhat decorated. These dogs are hovering hardcore. I mean, they never don't, but yeah, it's extra today. I'm actually having a great time though. This is- I'm having fun. <laughs> the time though is like killing me. I think the time is what's making it fun for me. I work really well in like with restrictions. I know it was like when I was teaching creative writing, I always started out the class with talking about the effect that restrictions have on creativity and like start with haikus and like really short poems that had specific line numbers and syllables. And I don't know, I just really like the idea of restrictions and how that makes people more creative. So the fact that we have Vegan ingredients, I think it makes certain have... people very creative, but I think other like people who really have strong vision sometimes get stifled by limitations. And I guess that my vision doesn't normally come until like I uh, have to, you know, like just sitting around and saying like you can do whatever you want or you can have whatever you want. Yeah, that like is like it's intimidating it, for you. Yeah, that doesn't work for me. But well, like saying like you have to have these restrictions, you have this much time then like that's really where I feel like I shine. We should have had a rule too that like you had to use at least each candy once. 
Yeah, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, oh your like pond is... Adorable? It's actually kinda cute. So, have my trailer race cars. Oh my God, they're like mobile homes, like van life. Van life, yep, that's exactly what van it is. Life. Um, I feel like I need more though. What else does a trailer park have? I've got a pool with fish. Trailer park needs a sign. Um, what's it, how much time? Eight minutes. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. I was gonna spell trailer, but let's just do RV instead. Oh, there needs to be a Christmas tree. Yeah, these are messed up. Uh-huh. Um... Oops. <laughs> they stayed on the table. The pups are not getting lemon heads. It's gonna be one ugly Christmas tree. <laughs> what could I use to make the RV park sign stand? No idea. Do you have any of the thick royal icing? Wow, cool. I, I love how there's literally like one green airhead in the entire package. That doesn't help much because I need more green. No. How much time? Six. <sighs> All right, I'm wasting way too much time to get this sign to work. Yeah, but the sign, ah. looks, the sign looks really good. <laughs> it's broken. Oh no. That's so terrible. It'll just be a Christmas art sculpture. What are those? What do you mean, what are those? Oh, they're trees, that's good. Yeah, duh. Y'all can't see it yet, but those are good trees. Are they? Because you asked what are they, so you obviously didn't know. No, they're just a little bit abstract. I actually really like yours, I'm kind of jealous. Mine has personality and all, but yours... What does mine have? Yours has personality, what does mine have? Your random fans? Um... Yours has style, it has flair, and it's there. So, sorry, I was occupying my time with candy. Technical difficulties. Uh, looks like the camera stopped. Maybe we missed five seconds. Maybe we missed a couple minutes. Who knows, but we paused the time, so. Sugar hands do not wanna. Okay, there we go. We have about five minutes remaining. Restart. And go. Gave me some time to think of some ideas, though. I'm not stealing your tree idea. I'm doing my own version of it. Yeah, you're stealing it. Oh, I need. I like. I want to eat an airhead. This table is also destroyed. That's fine. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Mm. 
Oh, those are good. What are they? The Swedish fish. Oh yeah, they're delightful. Regular Swedish fish are good, but. Do you uh, have any Christmas wishes? Do you have anything that you hope Santa brings you for Christmas this year? You know, I have literally not even given that five seconds of a thought this, this year. I agree. I uh, just wanna see family and have as much fun around them as possible. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just like when you get older, but you just like, when you can buy your own stuff, when you can like yeah, take care of yourself and like pretty much all the stuff that I want yeah. already, and you know you just kind of selfishly buy what you want throughout the year whenever it comes about, and then you know, plus we don't want superfluous stuff, and you know, so you give each other experiences or you spend time with each other, and that's you know you spend the money to go and visit people or you spend the money to take people out or do something nice with them. And right. I think that's... Which I feel like my family had sort of, like, decided we weren't doing the gift exchange thing anymore, although after a text or two that I've gotten, now I'm not so sure. Yeah. Uh, but last year we didn't really do a gift exchange, we just did kind of a gag gift thing where we mm -hmm. bought random kind of funny stuff. And I, I liked that, because it... Takes all the pressure out of it. It's it's a lot of pressure to have to buy gifts for like eight different people and actually yeah. um, make sure that there's something that's worthwhile. I just say in like my mid to late twenties, I actually really like kind of hated Christmas for a while because I felt it was just all like that pressure. such a consumer holiday and it was just like I had to kind of opt out. Like I don't want to buy things for people. I don't want people to buy things for me. Yeah. I just want to like eat the food and have a great time and. It just seemed like it was so much more that you had to deal with and do, and I just didn't handle that well. So it kind of was like, I just don't want to play Christmas, I'm out, but like, I've sort of gotten past that and figured out like, okay, like you can still enjoy the holiday and have like the true meaning of the season. Just don't let the corporate nature or the idea of having to buy gifts or like stress out about getting the right things for the right people. And yeah, just tell them you don't want anything and they're not getting anything either. And but you'll see them for the <laughs> and holiday. And there's no expectation. <laughs> right. Just so you know, we're not playing that kind of Christmas. Um, speaking of, so we have one minute left. I feel like I should just be throwing things at it. Mm-hmm. Throw things at it. Let's... Mm. I kind of like my little Christmas tree here. Let's add another tire patch. That's an outhouse. Oh, you you have like some cute stuff going on. Mine's just kind of. Yours is nice though. I'm not a fan of. Mine, I feel like though. these actual. This is kind of like. This is us in like. Whatever the personification is with. It's not personification. It's as in former English teacher. I should know. Uh, Ten seconds. I'm I'm done. I don't I don't know. Had what you else had I'm... more time, would you have been? Yes. Would you have this done? would be completely different had I had more time. All right, so that is time. That is 30 minutes. Um, let's I'm kinda... probably gonna like pull the camera off the tripod and do some glamour shots. Yeah, let's do some glamour shots and get some nice, nice views of all of our- Of this uh... chaos. And then uh, we'll see you back here and we'll do a final little discussion of what we've done here, talk you through our designs, and then uh, it's up to you to decide which oh, one no, is the best. Falling apart. So uh, check out the beautiful glamour shots right now.
hope you like the glamour shots of them. I just want to so glamorous. Uh, go into a little bit more detail about exactly what we did. Um, I'll go first. <laughs> what did we do? Um, so mine essentially is a you know a van life slash trailer park uh, van vegan life. experience here. Um, I have back here. I don't know if, how well you can see it, but I have an outhouse. Um, because a lot of these van life um, experiences don't have bathrooms inside, so you know you need an outhouse. And I couldn't build like a Starbucks coffee shop for them to go to the bathroom, so I just built them an outhouse. Um, I have some extra tires here because you never know if you have a blowout. I have a lovely pond slash swimming pool with some beautiful fish. Oh, so they just swim with the fish? Yeah. It's like a salt I've water. It's like a, a salt water pool. Never seen a swimming pool. It's a salt water pool. It's a, such a novel idea. I mean, it's Christmas, it's magical time of year. Uh, between the two van life trailer... Van life, I love this things. term, van life. <laughs> uh, um, I have a Christmas tree here, obviously decorated beautifully with some Skittles. And then I've, I have my two very individual and unique van slash trailers. Um, this one has, of course, the red hot roof. This one has the smarty roof, which are actually solar panels, so it's pretty green. What is the red hot roof? Red hot roof. Yeah, but what is that actually? Oh, it's these little solar cells that are really, like, they're actually the best you can buy. Shut up. Shut up. Um, so really it's just there for color, but and not actually any function. It's uh, actually like a terracotta inspired roof tile that is also solar. Um, and I do have, of course, the very unique and individual people who live in the uh, van life park here and there, of course, made out of Sour Patch Kids. Oh, those are people. They're oh. Sour Patch Kids. Didn't realize that. All right, so I, I also have like a lovely little um, mint walkway here. So uh, for your consideration here, um, what should it be called? Van life? Van life. Van life. Okay, does that bring us to mine? Uh-huh, there, unless there's anybody else that wants to go first. I don't know, any, is there anyone else that made one? Which we do have enough ingredients, like I still have a lot of crackers. We could at least make two or three more of these, so. All right, so this beautiful ranch style home is what I made. Um, I have this lovely walkway with uh, fish tiles. I thought that was actually like Is really, that vegan? Really well fish? done. Oh, they're not, they're, <laughs> Tiles that are shaped like fish. Okay. Not real fish. Um, one of my light arches, the neighbor, just keeps knocking it over. Those little <laughs> jealous neighbor kids just keep like coming and messing with my decorations. So, oh, so that's like light fight. Yeah, this is like like a light show, like Christmas light fight. Like you've all seen it. These are the arches that I have leading up to my the lovely front door of my home, which is another arch. Um, yeah, they keep falling over. Uh, and then I have my trees in the front. Um, these aren't real trees. These are also part of the light show. Uh, that's like an LED tree? Yeah, they're like LED trees. That's why they look kind of like plasticky. Um, that's why. Uh, I also, I guess the same person that sold your terracotta solar panels also <laughs> came by my house because mm -hmm. I have them as well spread throughout my uh, Oreo shingles. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I wish I could like take your roof off and see all the design that you did inside all of the room. Yeah, I um, yeah, I spent about 15 minutes designing a family room and some bedrooms and a kitchen on the inside, but you can't see any of it. So I wish I would have spent a little more time, but this is what I came up with in five minutes on the outside, so. Um, Does yours have a name? Um, it's a ranch Christmas. It's a ranch Christmas. Hidden Valley Ranch Christmas. So for your consideration, a ranch Christmas. Mm -hmm. I, I'm i gonna say this now, like I think yours wins. I think no, yours- No, don't sell yourself out so easily. I think yours has more character. Like you I was going- said that, but. I like yours. I'm really inspired by yours and it makes it's me wish that apart. I had- It's The Red Hots, the terracotta <laughs> tiles are- Yeah, they're really new to the market. They need to have some things worked out. So. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. We actually had a blast doing this. Ben it was kind of, fun. Ben came up with the idea like, hey, how about we do a gingerbread thing and kind of looked online for gingerbread kits and like, 
I felt like doing it this way, like I remember doing in preschool with just using graham crackers was the way to go. And yeah, I, it's sort of like Legos with candy. That's how I'm I felt so like I was- so disappointed with what mine ended up being. I mean, you just gotta own it. You impressed me. Thank you. I mean, normally it's like- Normally I don't. No imagination going on whatsoever up there. Um, it's pretty dark. But yours think. definitely is a better concept, I Thank think. Thank you. And um, again, the- That doesn't mean you can't hope for mine. Right, or you know, there's no prize. Yeah, it's there's no the prize. Pride. Um, the royal icing again that we made was just basically powdered sugar and water. Um, so that was our glue, um, as well as the Duncan Hines frosting. And I'll actually post a list of all the different candies that we used here that were accidentally vegan. And we've actually had a difficult time stopping ourselves from snacking along the way. So I'm sure this won't be going two ways. So treat yourself this holiday season. Yeah. If you have kids or family, this would be a really fun thing to, you know, bring all this stuff over to someone's house. And I this definitely would, be like a would recommend fun little this. party thing that you could do. That's like, Hey, this is my gift to you and your family is an experience of making vegan, no bake, uh, gingerbread. This is my gift to you. Your kitchen table could look like this as well. Oh, that, yeah. You could bring, I would, th I would actually love that if somebody brought like a bag, you of would love over. if someone did this to your house. If somebody brought like a bag of this stuff over and was like, hey, I'm gonna come over tonight and like pop Mess up, up your whole kitchen. <laughs> Maybe make some drinks and put on some Christmas music and yeah. set a timer. No, it's definitely fun. Uh, even though it's definitely messy. I don't know what to do with this now. I guess I'll just start picking crap off of it and uh, eating it. We're gonna take some photos first, but thank you all for watching. Um, if you want more holiday cookie, candy, dessert ideas, there's the seven layer magic bars I'll have linked. Uh, as well, there's a, my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe is on my channel as well. Check that out. It's a really like, it's the best chocolate chip cookie. Uh, yeah, you need to I make some. I probably should. So have a great holiday. I'm not sure when we'll do another video where we'll be. Maybe we'll do something from on the road. So yeah, maybe. Anyways, have a great holiday if I don't see you before then. Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, vote for me. Yeah, vote for me. Thank you. Bye.